What's up, everyone? Today, we're going to be talking about why I chose to stop listening to music as much as I used to. So, as I just mentioned, a couple of years ago, about three years ago, I made a decision to stop listening to music as much. Do I still listen to music from time to time? Absolutely, there's no reason not to. Especially given the fact that I used to, as a hobby, produce music. Music's in my blood. Um, even though I don't know him, my biological grandfather was a musician, so it's, it's kind of like in, in my blood, you know what I mean? In my system. Um, however, I started realizing and connecting the fact that <clears throat> when I would listen to music, my productivity for the most part would go down. Could I focus with certain types of music? Absolutely. And that's why I said to, you know, to an extent, there's sometimes that I need to tune everything out and just focus. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I will put on my headphones and just basically zone out and just, you know, go at the task at hand. But for the most part, what I'm referring to is, you know, blasting music in the car, um, listening to music, you know, banging at the house. And I, I really don't do that anymore. And here's the reason why. I started realizing, especially in the car, it's mainly, you know, in my drive to work and my drive home. That, I have a long drive. My drive is easily an hour and 15 minutes to work and an hour and 15 minutes to the house, sometimes more. Except with the exception of Saturdays. On Saturdays, my drive is 30 minutes because there's no traffic. <clears throat> but the fact is, that time, right, I decided throughout the rest of the day, I'm so occupied doing other things that in that time, it was my time to educate myself. That's a time where I would listen to books. I, I you know, I subscribe to Audible, the best thing you could do. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. Yes, it will be an affiliate link. I really appreciate that. Um, I'll also put a link in the description of the five books that I would recommend for those of you who are trying to, I guess, get out of a funk or uh, start producing at a higher level or just overall polish yourself up to get to maybe that next step in your life. So I'll put those links below. Um, but I started filling that time up with positivity in the sense of it, is there music that's positive? Absolutely. However, what I was realizing is that, A, I don't like reading because I don't know if I contributed to the fact that I might be a little bit dyslexic. I haven't been diagnosed, but I realize that I jumble my numbers and my words. And um, when I'm reading, I kind of get, just, I just get frustrated. <clears throat> so I, I'm a better listener than I am a reader. So I started listening to audiobooks, and uh, sometimes I schedule calls for that time. Uh, I do a lot of work overseas, so I do schedule calls early in the morning. You know, 7 a.m. for me overseas is you know 7 p.m. So it's a 12-hour difference with my team overseas, and we just bang out the calls early in the morning. So we do that. And I do that, but just the fact that I, like I said, I started realizing that music for me, right, was kind of like escapism. But the fact of the matter is that it wasn't going to help me get to the goal that I have, right? So will this work for you i don't know the only thing i could do tell like the only thing i can tell you is that you need to try uh one thing that i know is 
100% true is that if you don't try something different, nothing will change. Like if you don't change, nothing will change. And I learned that from a book. I learned that from Jim Ron. I learned that from listening to videos. I mean, we are really underestimating the complete capacity of, of self-improvement we have. And it's at our fingertips. For the most part, you do not have to pay for it. <clears throat> Even the books that I'm going to list below, I understand not everybody here has the ability to purchase them. That's cool. And I'm not condoning this by any means, right? But I'm pretty sure that you can look online. For those of you really struggling, you can look online for a free PDF version of the books that I'm going to put in the description. Right? Even though this, this video really doesn't have anything to do with books, um, given the fact that the topic did come up, I'll put the link, you know, I'll put the link in the description for those of you who want to purchase it. Will I get a small Amazon commission to it? Possibly. I'm just trying to build that up to something. Um, but most importantly, it's not even uh, about the commission for me. It's about your improvement. That's why I did this channel. That's why it's called Stop Being Stagnant. That's why it's giving all of us the ability to, you know, start carving a new path for ourselves. It's not just about, you know, okay, I got to this specific level. Boom, I'm, I'm good here. No, because, you know, <clears throat> even with currency, inflation tells you that, you know, you, you inherit a million dollars 10 years down the road after you've spent it all. You no longer, even if you, can, you know, all right, let me take that back. You inherit a million dollars. You don't touch it. You have it there for a rainy day. That $10 million buying power is not going to be the same that it was 10 years ago. Inflation tells you that. So what happens is that if you basically start settling, then everything else goes to shit. It's just, it's life. It's designed by life. Like just social proof tells you so. So we constantly have to be on the up and up. And <clears throat> I'm so sorry, guys. I just, my, my allergies are killing me today. Um, what am you know, what am I going to do? Not record? Absolutely not. You just got, got to deal with my throat DJ noises. It's, it's as simple as that. But um, again, I, I do have a couple of new subscribers on the channel. I want to welcome you guys. Um, I absolutely appreciate each and every one of you. I really, really, really enjoy when you guys engage in the comments, leave me questions, ask me things. Um, for the most part, I try to be as open as possible. Obviously, there's certain things we can't discuss, but for the most part, this is pretty much, you know, open topic. Um, so <clears throat> with that being said, that's mainly the reason why I, um, why I stopped listening to music as much and why I started uh, replacing listening to music with, you know, either uh, business oriented calls or most importantly, listening to audiobooks, uh, because I want to continue to grow personally. Uh, like I, I said earlier, I want to continue uh, to live by my, uh, I, I would say, business name, which is Stop Being Stagnant. Um, I, I want to be the uh, lead by example, so to speak. Uh, individual and not the person who who says something and then doesn't stand behind it. And uh, a little update on my uh, workout progress for those of you guys following along, guys and gals. Um, I've been working out every day. I told you I bought that tread climber and I put that shit in my living room. And I'm doing a minimum of uh, sorry about that. I'm doing a minimum of 40 minutes every day. And last night was a little bit difficult i uh i was basically conflictive in my mindset not wanting to do it however i ponied up and not only did i do my 40 minutes on the tread climber but uh the family and i also went around the block for another 20 minute walk so i got in a solid you know hour of exercise yesterday and i feel great and by the way i don't know if you guys have noticed but the new glasses are in i'll do a I'll do a better video of them when there's more sunlight out and you guys can see them they have the transition lenses and then uh i guess at age 31 i'm going through puberty again as you can see this freaking landmark on my face but whatever shit happens so yeah guys uh take care have a beautiful day and hope you guys enjoy the weekend <coughs>